Graham, we look at a lot of Herco machines. This is a Roder's five axis. How does it fit in amongst what you sell for Herco on the whole? Okay, well this is a dedicated high speed machine. Uh, this particular one is a 42,000 RPM spindle, linear motors on the X, Y and Z, torque motors on the A and C axis. So it's fair to say it's, it's much faster than what Herco would offer from their machine range? Yeah, it's extremely high speed, 60 metre rapids, 40 metre cut-in feed rates, extremely high precision. And where does it fit in the market? Who buys this type of machine from Herco? Um, typically Rodas was mould and tool dye industry but now uh, it's widening its range and we're going to subcontract aerospace. Uh, medical industry is extremely big for, for rotors. Now we focused a lot here on speed. How does that actually affect the finished part by having a much faster machine? Because this machine processes information so much quicker, the finish from the straight off the cutter is far greater because you've got linear motors, there's no ball screws, so there's no direction change. It's just everything's a lot tighter and more accurate. And one thing is speed, but in speed you need the acceleration. What, what sort of acceleration has this machine got? Well, this one is nearly up to 2G. The, the rotary axis rotates at 600 RPM, where typically a Herco would, would rotate at 30 RPM. So there's a huge difference. And you mentioned processing time. A lot of that has got to do with the control. So what, what's the control system you're using? Rodas is a quite a unique machine. They have their own control, it's their own software, but they have two PCs on the machine. So they have one controlling the, the front interface and one controlling just the drives. And then there's fiber optic links between each, each of the drives. So to really push the, the, the NC code through the machine. What, what about on this particular machine? Because this is actually for sale. We've got a pallet system or an automation system. Yeah. Is, is that something that's standard with Rodas, or is that just on this machine here as an option? No, no, it's, it's an option that Rodas sell. Um, there's several pallet options, this being one of them. This is called an RCE, um, and it's set up with an Aroa uh, ITS 148 pallet system. Now, uh, and then finally, on, on the tool side of things, we, we talked about the 42,000 RPM. What sort of tool shank are we using? This particular model, it's uh, an HSK 40. Although you can have this machine now with an HSK50 or an HSK32. Okay, and then your product manager for this, this range of machines, Graham, do you get a lot of uh, attention from them? I know here at the show that it's been, this is the first time we've managed to get near it today, but do you get a lot of attention purely because of the speed and the performance? Yes, if people are looking for accuracy and speed, repeatability, sub 5 micron machining, then this would be the machine for them. And it's not just about small components, is it? Or do they do bigger machines or is it, are they restricted? Yeah, no, no, they do much bigger machines. They do up to a, a 1.4 metre X travel. On a five axis, they do a one point, up to 1.2 metre machine. So it's fair to say this would be one of the smallest? Yeah, th this is one of the smallest, but it's also their most popular machine. Matt, Graham's told us a lot about the hardware of the machine. The, the, the software side, tell us what you're doing here on the control and what it offers. I'm using uh, the RMS Inspect software, which is an option where you can bring in an IGES model and you can create a program that uses a part probe to come in and inspect the model and then creates a file where you can load back in and we'll show you a variance report against the surface points of the model. You can also use that to generate inspection reports, you can uh, inspect all different features, holes, it'll give you circular tolerances, positional tolerances and generate a full report. So is that something that you would normally associate with doing on a CMM yeah, machine? Completely on a CMM, yeah. So it works very similar to uh, CMM software. So with the automation on this Rodas machine, coming apart, coming into the machine, being machined, you can also then do all the necessary checking you need to do and have a completed finished part? Yeah, that's it, and the inspection report as well. You can bring in the part, uh, probe it in cycle to get the datum so you don't have to date it before you load it in. The part will come in, position it using your probing cycles, machine it and then inspect it afterwards, put it back into the carousel, bring another part in, you come in in the morning and you've got parts machined with the inspection reports there. Very time saving. Yes, it creates a lot of time for your CMM, you space your CMM for more important things to do.